Good afternoon. We are today in English. In English because we are playing an English game that we were mm. w- that has uh, a lot of words in it and I know a lot of English words. I know at least one. Poop. But we also have a one standard unit of getto here. Uh, originally we will, were also going to have a standard unit of Arial here, but it got late and they had to go to bed. So so we plus they're American so they don't use the international system. Okay. Uh, they don't use standard units, it's all in feet. Mm. Good point. That's the reason. But today, if you've seen all the things down there and down there and down there, we are playing a Star Trek trivia game from 1998, which means that we don't have to know anything about the shit current Star Trek. We just need to lo- know about the proper Star Trek, which is... Well, actually, I like the later season of Star Trek Voyagers, but uh, or later seasons of Star Trek Voyager, but this goes up to like season three or something like that. Does it have DS9? Or is it, it has a DS9. It has DS9. DS9. I haven't seen most of DS9, so I have. Ghetto is, but is I very much on top. But I haven't seen the original. Uh, I've seen it only once a very, very long time ago. No error occurred. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> oh, but then you start. <laughs> you see, the problem with uh, the problem with doing old computer stuff for fun is that it does old computer stuff like that to you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have to call tech support. <laughs> Let's call tech support. Uh, um, you can find the number on the CD-ROM. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I can. Um, it will. It would be a very expensive call, though, to the United States. Okay, I will pause. And here, we're back. Hello. Get to us just remembering what it was like to use, oh use PCs. God, it was terrible. Yeah, it was exactly like this. Like you're like, hey, I played this thing yesterday. Let's play it again today. Oh no, no, <laughs> no not today, <laughs> not, not today. today. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's even the right drive this time. It's thinking. Oh <gasps> my god! Oh my god! It's a working. Nineties FMV for the win. Space, the final frontier. For <laughs> United Federation of Planets has explored the Featuring Q. Of the galaxy, seeking out <laughs> and strength. all the other letters. Oh, uh, will you give it a rest? You know, he makes it sound like your quest for knowledge is significant. To you, maybe, but to me, sticking your starships into other species' business is merely a quaint exercise in frivolity. But you know what? That's what I love about your species. Your ability, your desire to dwell on all matters trivial is the best thing that ever happened to me. Besides me, of course. You see, as long as you people stay out of trouble, and I'm talking about real trouble, not your cute little twubble with twibbles, then I can dedicate some quality time to someone worthy of my undivided attention. And I can't spend all that time with myself if I have to constantly clean up after your quests for knowledge. Remember, I have the fun. You suffer the consequences. So yes, this has 90 That brings me as to why you're here. I've devised a devious little diversion and modeled it after the all-time classic 20th century game show. That little doozy spread like a virus around your planet and ended up making Earth the laughing stock of the galaxy. But enough about me and my stellar inventiveness. Let's talk about you and your lack of it. On second thought, it's time for the announcer to do some work. Okay. Right you are, your omnipotence. Okay, contestants, how many of you will be playing today? Oh, okay. I am Romulan, One, of course. Two or three. Okay, so there's... T- oh, right, you need to type. M- no mouse control, because... Two. Player one, what's your species? Okay, you get to be player one since you you sit on the... Oh my god, I am a click Romulan. You're a Romulan. Of course. Now, type in your name. Yes, type in your name. Oh. What's your Romulan name? 
but of course because uh, it has to be oh no it is because uh, it has to be um, Latin because mm. perfect Vulpes I admire Romulans when they split from the Vulcans they refuse to give up the humor gene excellent your buzzer is the cube I heard when they split up player two <laughs> split up from the Balkans <laughs> <laughs> okay. When the Romulans left from the Balkans, that no. was sad. Now remember, your buzzer key is the Q. The Q is my buzzer key. I will be a Vidian because Vidians were badass. They have this uh, this plague that uh, makes their flesh fall off and their internal organs uh, die. So they just steal them from other species, and that is very metal. Now, type in your name. Now, here's the problem. I don't know, remember at all what kind of names the Vidians had. So, my name will be the Vidian. I don't think they pronounce it. Or, I think it was... If it wasn't, then it's just my name. Uh-oh, a Vidian. Hang on to your organs, everyone. Fantastic! Uh, Your buzzer is the P key. Oh, I'm P. That works game, excellent. Time, hit the escape key. Now, <laughs> no escape here. Okay, <clears throat> this is the actual game. And now, live from the center of the galaxy, it's the only game show that proves we are not alone, except for that guy with the ears in the third row. Welcome to Q's trivia trick. And now, your favorite host and mine. Please welcome Q. Thank you, thank you. You're not kind enough, but it'll have to do. I'm thrilled to be here. Equally thrilled is my lovely partner. Now, as a matter of theory, she has powers equal to mine, but as a matter of fact, she has so much to learn before she can attain my level of uh, me. So, please. Let's give a similar, but tastefully less enthusiastic welcome to Q. Nice try, Q. How typical of you to forget how typical you are. Much better. All right, God. that's enough. The 90s were fucked Q, up. You, you look ravishing, as always. Why, thank you, Q. It's nice to oh, be back. This, As usual, the, it, it reminds me of Birdemic. <laughs> they are talking. To this opportunity. Yeah, because the sound cuts. Of course, my dear. And they, they freeze. Right after I remind the continuum that your training is still not complete. Please. My choice of uniform should prove that I've at least matched your lack of humility. <laughs> it's less a uniform than it is a cry for help. Enough chit-chat. Players. Welcome to the Alpha Quadrant. As you can see, I've gone to considerable lengths to provide an atmosphere that is, if not attractive, then at least familiar. Here we yeah, will ask you about famous and notable figures in Federation and Starfleet history. Now keep in mind, I have delved deeply into the lives of these people. <laughs> Some of them even know me personally. So the questions not only deal with their official acts as Starfleet officers, but items from their personal logs as well. So if you're a Star Trek nerd, Making good use of try my to powers, beat us. I will spin this wheel. After it stops on a category, a I'm question will be read and displayed. Be the first to buzz I your tried buzzer, this once. Then type I in the letter corresponding to the answer you believe is correct. Here we go. The category is medical. Okay. For 400 on buzz points, buzzers. when Spock begins to go through the stress of Ponfar, Nurse Chapel prepares a traditional Vulcan dish for him. What is the name of the dish? A. Matcha Vana. B. Tenepabo Salad. C. Plomik Soup. D. Ash Pranala. E. Roast Salot. I am going to guess. I know, I know. It's C. You don't get out much, do you? Hey, the I. Answer is I pushed the. C. Plomy. Buzzer. You were too late. Apparently. The category is 
medical for 200 points. Leonard McCoy usually has something to say about almost anything. Which of the following statements has Dr. McCoy not said? A. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. B. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. C. I'm a doctor, not a soldier. D. I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. E. I'm gonna go for D. Maybe you should try sports. Oh, maybe yeah, you should yeah. try sports. C. But I'm a you, doctor, not you, a soldier. Yeah, you have to put... I thought that when you push the buzzer, the, the timer stops. Captain. For 500 points, Dr. McCoy gives Kirk a pair of spectacles for his birthday because Kirk is allergic to the usual treatment for nearsightedness. What is the usual treatment for this condition in the 23rd century? A. The bunch in the face. K, I had no e, original Italian. series questions. C. Cordrazine. D. Retinax 5. <laughs> Retinax e, 5. Ironolin. Actually, I think it's Retinax 5. Hallelujah. Yes! Indeed. D. Retinax 5. The Vidians win again. Oh, goody! A red alert question. This is a little game I like to call Memories in Motion. Watch the clip on the view screen. Ooh, That's more all I'm gonna full tell motion you. video. Okay, it's a blur. Explain to them. Make them understand. But our mission is to save Tin Man. Player two, this question is for you. Ooh, for me. For 500 points... What did Tam L. Brunn want Data to do to them? A. Kill them. B. Make them understand. Did he just C, said that? Ignore them. D. Advise them. Hallelujah. Make them understand. The answer is indeed... Q is much B, more religious in this than I thought understand. in the actual show. The category is Captain. For 500 points, one of Benjamin Sisko's old friends is assigned as the Starfleet attaché to the Federation colonies in the demilitarized zone. He turns out to be a Maquis leader. What is this officer's name? A. Mike Smith. B. Cal Hudson. C. Sam Laren. D. Walker Keel. E. Don Anderson. I'm going to have like zero points. I'm going to say C because that sounds like a Star Trek I've name. Seen Klingons who could grunt more intelligent answers. Not well, fair. The answer is B. Cal Hudson. I have not seen the show. The category is engineering. For 600 points, Jordi LaForge's mother, Silva LaForge, was a Starfleet captain at the time of her death. Which ship did she command? What? A. USS Threshold. B. USS, USS Adelphi, Essex. That's C, like... <laughs> USS Essex. Oh, I love... Do you pass with the spinner? E. USS Merrimack. <laughs> you want to guess that? I will, if you want. You give sentience a bad name. Ah, fair. The answer is... D. USS Hera. I... Did that even come up on the show? The category is Helm... Sciences for 300 points. Leela, Tobin, Tarias, Curzon, Jadzia. All have been hosts to the Dax symbiont. But one host, a murderer named Joran, was repressed from the later host's memories. Name his profession. A murderer. A, poet. B. Doctor. C. Spy. D. Pilot. E. I must say, Paul, I have to say something. If you had another neuron, you'd have a synapse. The answer is E. I think musician. I skipped that episode because I hate those kind of murder mystery episodes where one of the main characters points. is accused On and you know they, Prime, they're going to get Jake it all free. Jake experiences the horrors of war firsthand as he helps Dr. Bashir treat wounded colonists. Who is attacking these colonists? I know. A. The Romulans. Uh, the Cardassian. It's the Jim Hadar. He's brain dead, Jim. No, no, the no. Klingons. Oh my God! I thought it was the Jim Hadar. Oh my, I. <sighs> uh, I'm not very good. To think an advanced civilization once We're considered your species ready for contact. 
we we're not competing. Two. To be fair, we're I just totally having fun agree. with the quiz. I guess oh. this means my training is over. As they told Jean-Luc Picard after his first Starfleet entrance exam. Let's enjoy more nice banter. Try. More banter. Let's move into the Beta Quadrant, shall we? The Beta Quadrant isn't that where they go in the in DS9? No, it's the Gamma, I think. Oh. Welcome to the Beta Quadrant. Creepy, isn't it? What's in ba you see Beta the universe, Quadrant? My universe isn't just I pretty star fields and picturesque nebulae. Is, is it where it's they go accidentally in the next generation and find the Borg? The right of you. you could say I have a I knack know. for chaos. Yeah, a knack. I'm a Star and Trek nerd. Such a dark I think the Beta so Quadrant is where the Romulans dump their the chemical next. waste. Hugh, as yeah. I said, you can leave when I say so. And speaking of me, there are plenty of other warm, wonderful, cuddly encounters in the universe. Let's see what's out there. Okay. Exploiting to the fullest my extra dimensionality, I will push these buttons one by one. Each button reveals a clue and makes the picture in the static field view screen a little clearer. Based on the clues, the view screen, and the category shown above, your job is to identify the encounter. When you know the answer, Hit your buzzer, type in the name, and hit okay. enter. Okay. Type in the name? She means oh my if God. you know the answer. Oh, and I won't. You get it I wrong. won't. My dear Q will push the next button, and I will kindly grant another clue for the same encounter. A kinder, gentler Q. Somebody pinch me. If your answer is correct, then you get the point. Oh, that was a sexual harassment joke. Enough Are you amused now? holding already. Let's go. The 90s, everybody. The 90s. The category is alien individual. Okay. Clue number one. He's from Tau Alpha C. I know many people from Tau Alpha C. You have to be more specific. Clue number two. He once claimed to be the it's assistant a of a man named Kozinski. Maybe they're waiting for some candy or something. Oh. 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 I mean, Clue he was called three. the Traveler. He considered himself a lens for focusing thought. Yeah, I remember that, but what's his name? Yeah, fuck that. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say... Two. Let's see what you're made of. I'm going to say Traveler. Let's hear it for blind luck. <gasps> the answer is indeed... The Traveler. The category is... <laughs> the Traveler. That's not a name, Clue though. Number one. He served on the bridge of the Enterprise E. Oh, I know many people. <laughs> Enterprise Clue E. Clue number two. He left on a mission with Picard and Worf, but didn't come back. Oh, Darwin. Oh. Dar. Oh, no, that's from the First Contact, the movie. Three. He died in zero gravity. Yeah, I remember. What's his name, though? I have no clue. He's the fuckface. Clue number four. With a name like his, you'd think he'd have sharper eyes. Did somebody set the questions on stun? Uh, I don't remember names. Do you remember names? Clue number five. He died as a boy. Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot! Please, don't shout out the answer. Yeah, he died as a bork. Well, he... the answer is indeed Hawk. The category okay. is yes. hardware. Hardware. Clue number one. Oh my god. It once met a probe named Tanru. <laughs> I mean, I've met many Clue probes by two. that name. It wiped out Uhura's mind, too. Oh, this is an original serious Dave, question. Uh, doesn't omnipotence include the ability to pick <laughs> decent contestants? No, pick decent questions. Yes. Easy ones. Clue number three. Its goal, sterilize. Oh, I'm, I'm going to say two. it was waiting. the plonker, because he sounds <laughs> like the plonker. <laughs> Clue number four. It attacked Enterprise. <laughs> Very funny, Q. Put them in a coma so they can't score. You're such a trickster. <laughs> Clue number five. Till shown, it was imperfect too. I, I've maybe seen this like 20 years ago. <laughs> I hey haven't. Q, it's Nomad. A few dilithium crystals short of a warp core, isn't he? The answer is. I'm a Romulan. I don't use nomad. warp cores. The category is alien species. Clue number okay. one. 
Ships entering their space generally don't return. No. Isn't it the Romulans? <laughs> yeah, ma many places, like it's the <laughs> Borg as well. One may or may not have been on board Voyager. Player one, type away. <laughs> Clue number three, Kess managed to block their efforts. The... Ah, oh, they're the ones. These are the ones that play the... Clue number four, they use psionic energy fields. Why don't you the ones that are after these magicians and they're hiding them in this like weird field and they're playing Mahler, <laughs> First Number Symphony. Five. They made the Voyager crew hallucinate, each what? seeing something different. I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. I've seen the episode. Hey, Q, it's both ends. Of all the game shows in all the galaxies, you had to come into mind. I think... If you go into Borg space, you also don't usually return. Exactly. Or the I Romulan space, or... Alien individual. Clue okay. number one. He really, really wanted Spock to beam down. Wasn't it Khan? Khan? Clue number two. <laughs> he didn't want to steal Kirk's body. Uh, I'm going to say... Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> Number three, the people helped colonize the galaxy 600,000 years ago. Oh, that was good. Clue number four, his wife's name was Thalassa, and he accepted oblivion with her. Synapses, we hardly knew ya. Thalassa, yeah. that's uh, an interesting player name. Two. I'm Give gonna say shot. Apollo. Clue number no. five. When oh, Kirk found it, nope. he and his people <laughs> were just on. globes of energy. I... I... I haven't <laughs> seen <laughs> these. If I need your help, I'll die first. The answer is, indeed, Sargon. Of a card? <laughs> oh, fuck no! Fucking incel! <laughs> Clue number one. There are nine of them in total. Um... <laughs> oh! I know this one. Oh yeah. Clue number two. Most of them were found oh, in no, the you have to... uh, Player one. What's your answer? There's nine of those. Clue number three. Cisco, Kira, Dax, and Quark have all looked into at least one of them. What? Clue number four. They are known to some as the tears of the prophets. Q, tell me the truth. Are you using them to punish me? Um, oh, it's a thing. Yes. Oh, I thought there was a... Clue number five. They provoke visions. Uh, are they the stones from the Infinity Gauntlet? Hey, Q, it's orbs. A shuttlecraft left about five orbs? minutes ago. Could you go That's and try to catch what? it? What? The answer is indeed... The orbs. Give them a better name if they're that important. For fuck's sakes. Have you ever seen a grown Q cry? Well, with scores this pathetic, you may get your hey, chance. I have more score than a you, you Q? fuck. Where? Isn't she a gem, folks? I'd take her home to my parents, but they don't allow pets. Let's move into the Gamma Quadrant, shall we? Are you amused by the 90s banter? I'm quite sure that this guy is still doing the same fucked up banter. The most robotic of ah, Star Trek dances. Isn't the Gamma Quadrant pleasant? What a contrast to that scary, foreboding place we just left. Am I right? Uh, I don't know. Whatever happens here. I've no never been sirree. there. And if you believe that, I have a nice bridge to sell you. Bridge? I get it. Yeah, so I don't get often it. Enough. Oh, the bridge. The command center. I wasn't where listening most of the to the tough though. decisions are made. Bluffs, face-offs, and a duels, bridge is a card game. You name it. A mission without trouble is like a day without me. Dreadfully unexciting. I'm willing to test that comparison right now. Right now? Oh, yes. Right now. That's the key to every command decision. He or she who hesitates is lost. Or in my universe, vaporized. Oh, sure, I've tested many a captain many times over, but lucky you, now it's your turn. So, let's have some fun, shall we? 
Yeah. Demonstrating my grasp of repetitive motion Oh, I should skills, also I will explain if you wonder why when the picture is so selected, small. A question will be assigned to a player. I might actually you are that player, begin it in the edit. Choices. You can answer it correctly and add but to your score. You can answer it's it the incorrectly. 90s. It's the 90s. It's the 90s. They couldn't handle FMV be at better if you have any and lose resolution. Nothing. I wasn't listening at all. Okay, we have to do something, and then we win something. If one of your opponents chooses to answer the question you wimped out on, the risk is transferred to them. If they answer correctly, they add the points displayed. But if they answer incorrectly, they lose double the amount displayed. Oh, but I can't lose any points. No one get too anxious or confident. Because I have no. Any halfway intelligent captain will tell you the same. You literally can't lose. To forfeit a question, let the timer run out. Just remember, you don't get a replacement question. In a three-player game, each contestant gets two questions. In a two-player game, each contestant gets three questions. In a one-player game, the contestant gets all six questions. Okay, oh, so we get I'm going to forfeit my questions. patience if we don't begin soon. Let's do it. Isn't it gen sad that John Delancey had to do these to survive? Player one, this yeah. question is for you. It's for you. It's for me. For 500 points... Data briefly commands a starship during the Klingon Civil War, helping to put up a tachyon net, which the Romulans try to get through. What does Data use to reveal the cloaked Romulan vessels? A. Phaser beams. B. A spray of gamma particles. C. Level 6 photon torpedoes. D. I think I should just give you a coloring book and crayons and send you off to a quiet corner somewhere. The answer is... C. Zero level six points. photon torpedo. Oh, I want minus. Oh, I get minus. Yes. yes. Zero blank. Question is for no, you. No, minus five hundred. Mm -hmm. Seven hundred points. Okay. On Earth in the year nineteen thirty, Kirk must allow Edith Keeler to die. If he does not, what will she do this that is alters history? The only A, episode I've she seen. She will prevent Franklin Roosevelt from being elected. B. She will give important information to the Germans during World War Two. C. She will divert funding from important war efforts, allowing the Germans to win World War II. Oh, I don't remember D. this. She will convince Roosevelt to delay involving the United States it's in World War II. B. Until that answer, you closely resembled an intelligent form of no, it's life. No, D, of course. The answer is... No. D. She will convince Roosevelt to delay involving the United States in World War II. Player number one, this question is for you. Who remembers one world war from the other? Points. To save the Enterprise from destruction by a First Federation vessel, yes. Captain Kirk uses a strategy from an Earth game. What is the name of this game? A. Chess. Monopoly. B. I'll buy everything. C, <laughs> roulette. <laughs> D. Hotels in every square. I bet it's poker. I'm nearly impressed. <gasps> yeah, come on, Kirk is not smart enough for chess. That's true. And the other Kirk. two, they are just ridiculous. Yeah, very good reason. Two, this question is for you. Uh, Deep Space Nine. For 500 points. It's old. Oh, oh no, it's not old. He plans to kill his half Bajoran daughter, Zial, to hide his indiscretion. What? How does Kira react to this? Who? A. She threatens to expose his indiscretion Kira. herself. I know. B. She offers to take Zial to Deep Space Nine with her. C. She threatens to kill Dukat. That she does D, always. She posts guards around <laughs> yeah. Zial. Let's say A because it's... Must you disappoint me so publicly? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, that's the point of this video. C, she threatens to kill Dukat. Oh, <laughs> but she does that in every episode. That doesn't count. Player one, this question is for you. For me. For 400 points... Cybok helps to ease Who what he thinks are the pains Cybok? of McCoy From Star Trek V, For McCoy, the final frontier. his pain is the death of his father. For Spock, it is Spock. his half-human side. What is Kirk's personal pain? A. The death of his brother. B. The destruction of the original Enterprise. C. The loss of his one true love. D. Cybok never discovers what Kirk's personal pain is. I bet it's D. Are they peeking at yeah. the answers? The answer is Kirk is too much of a giga chat to, D. to speak about feelings. What Kirk's personal pain is. Yes. I might not know Star Trek, 
but I can Star understand two. insects. This question is for <laughs> for Voyager. Points. I've just been watching Voyager. Voyager discovers a Cardassian design missile bound for the planet Rakosa. What is the name of the former Maquis Voyager crew member who originally programmed it to attack Cardassia? Oh. A. Seska. I know C. that. That's Taurus. Only one smart enough to, to do it. On them. The answer is indeed B. Taurus. It's the engineer. Of course, the engineer reprograms things. Of course, engineer best. Look at this point total. The best near. And to think I actually had expectations. No, I didn't have Q, any did expectations. Did you ever stop to think that being omnipotent raises just a bit too high the standards by which you judge others? I don't have to stop. Have you have you think. seen bloopers of him trying to say omnipotent and failing hard? Delta Quadrant is waiting. No. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. <laughs> it's the one where don't Voyager worry. is. I probably won't leave you stranded, but if I do, no hard feelings. I mean, how could I blame you for your inability to pay attention? Heaven what? forbid they take I, their eyes I off listening. you for one second. I just now the, so just associate the Kyrdo with uh, now Alarak carefully. from uh, Starcraft 2. I've Star created Cup a too. special challenge nah. based on each of the five Starfleet eras that you saw He was in also in an, an episode with Matlock. You only get one of those with challenges what? per Matlock. game. Hey, what is Matlock? Hey, if you're curious about the others, Matlock you'll have to keep is, playing. He's a great guy solving crimes. All of them. A great yes, guy? Yeah. I'll be your host each an and old every guy. time. Oh, okay. Solving Mur murder. The center of attention. Murder is most murder. foul. Murder. Over. Oh. Bye. Oh no, we were, we talked over the hilarious banter. Oh I yes. I do apologize. I think Deep it's Space stayed in Nine, mind. That wonderful little wagon wheel that ignorantly believes it's guarding the galaxy from what's behind the wormhole. What is behind the wormhole, you ask? Well, that's for me to know and you to figure out. I'll show you aliens, ships, and other goodies. You hit okay. your buzzer and then type T for true, been through the wormhole, or F for false, definitely not been through the wormhole. <laughs> okay, I'm... For 1,000 points. Yes. You are correct. Defiant definitely has been for through the wormhole. I can't even points. see what that was. Who the fuck is that? No, it's not... not, not. A right answer I for 1,000 points. Q. Q hasn't been through the wormhole, has he? Time's up. No, F for oh, false. F. Oh, my God. For 1,000 points. Seska has not been through you the wormhole. Right. Well, that was it. Well, not as entertaining as I had hoped. Still, you aren't totally hopeless. Bone up a bit and come back when you're ready to take the game more seriously. Oh, shut up. Oh. Congratulations, player that was one. it. You have a high score. Congratulations, player two. You have a high score. Okay, well, even for a 90s interactive CD-ROM, the quality was quite lacking, wouldn't yeah. you say? Um, no, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was... It was pretty bad. Also, it was... Yeah, and it was like 90... 91? <laughs> 97 or 98, I think. Yeah. Maybe it says in the... Yeah, there was already more advanced stuff at that time. Like me. Yeah. I was like, and, what, 13 and, or something? And much less advanced things, like me. Uh, but, okay, well, okay. Now, this might be a series of videos I do on the channel, where mainly me and Ariel, because Ariel lives here and Keto does not, um, uh, we go through old trivia games from the 80s and 90s and this is actually one of the most advanced ones because it had a whole interactive thing and full motion video and all that. Uh, so hopefully you'd like seeing that if you don't. I don't know how entertaining we were but 
But hey, if we weren't entertaining, you could be entertained by the hilarious quips by Q, the the omnipotent funny man. Uh, so <laughs> super clown, <laughs> yes, <laughs> super clown. <laughs> yes. Um, so um, if you enjoyed it, uh, hit hit subscribe and the like and the and the delete key. Um, if you didn't like it, still hit the subscribe and the like. like if you didn't like it, take your computer and throw it out the window. Excellent suggestions. If you didn't like this video, delete YouTube from your personal internet right now. <laughs> yes, you do not deserve. You, you do, do not, not deserve a computer. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> your style is lacking. <laughs> yes, indeed. And so, thank you, Ketu, for... <laughs> You're for welcome. Very... Yes, it's time for me to drive home. Yes. 15,000 kilometers. Oh, no, 1,500. <laughs> 1,500. Wow, my. Uh, Star Trek is melting my brain. Yes. It's time to go back to the thing that actual intellectuals watch. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs>